wanted to talk about today uh, in 10 minutes, which is the good news because the noise is uh, certainly a challenge, is about how we are using uh, AI to simplify the amount of data that we're getting from uh, packet-based. Uh, first question that we ask, that we get to ask, that many people to ask us is what is observability? What do we even mean by observability? About people talking about AI, they're talking about observability, packet, this, that, and the other. And I think the simple way to think about observability is really the set of tools that allow you to root cause an issue. And an issue can be, if you are a network operation uh, engineer, you get one of three questions. Why is my application too slow? Why can't I connect? Or I have a bad quality for my video or for my uh, market data. And then how quickly can you answer the what we call the four W's? What happened? When, when did it happen? Where did it happen? And why happened? What, what happened? And why did it happen? Right? So this is the set of tools that we're looking for. And generally speaking, there are multiple sources for observability. There is what many people deal with, which is referred to melt, metrics, event, logs, uh, traces. And the other one that CPacket has uh, been dealing with for many years are packets and packet data. Uh, for us, the big differentiation between melt that many uh, solutions deal with versus packets is really that uh, packets provide us with the unknown unknowns. In general, if something happened uh, and the user or the developer thought about it, it will put, he will put a printf in the log and you'll have an alert, you'll have some indications that something happened. If nobody imagined that something is gonna happen, then there is no log. So for example, if uh, one of the load balancers uh, companies decided to introduce uh, a feature that uh, drops packets if the SNI in the handshake is missing, there is no log and you're not going to see any log in the server. You're not going to see any log in the load balancer, but sessions will still fail. The only way to know that it happened is looking at the packets and understand that this is what was happening in the network. One of the big challenges when you deal with packets for observability is the scaling. Many uh, challenge us and say, you know, how well can you scale, right? We're running networks of 100 gigabits per second, 400 gigabits per second, many, many links. Uh, and that's the first challenge. So this is we just announced this week uh, the highest speed uh, capture that we know of in a one box. It's a 200 gigabits per second at line rate uh, packet capture with indexing and the ability to run analytics all at the same time. Uh, it has 200 terabyte in, in the box. So you can get you know a few uh, hours of, uh, of useful data. So that's one big challenge, right? Can you deal with the scale? And over the last 10 years, we've proven that we can certainly scale and, and run uh, analytics at hundreds of gigabits per second. The next thing is really about the ease of use, right? How simple can you make it? So in the 90s and up till now, many people, what they do is they pa capture packets, they download in Wireshark, they open Wireshark. It has all the truth there. But in every organization, even with 150 network operation people, you have maybe one or two people that can actually understand, right? That's what we would call data. Uh, the first progression was really to, and you know, there are a few companies that have been doing that for the last 20 years, is turning this data into information. And what we mean by information is extracting the relevant metrics and being able to visualize in uh, graphs how they look which is great. It was a big advantage over just using a Wireshark and it scales and it's very good. The problem is that if you're running at a large enterprise network, very quickly you get to hundreds and hundreds of dashboards and graphs and uh, different metrics that you look at. So what's next, right? How do you simplify and where is the AI coming into the, the picture? It's really one way we think about it is if I had all these graphs running and I had enough people to look at all these graphs, find what is anomalous, what is not right, and be able to write it in one simple text message, that's the next step, right? So how do we basically uh, use AI to create this card that there at the top, right? So is able to identify that uh, I have a server, it's low on resources, 
and tell me in a very simple sentence in English uh, what happened, when did it happen, where in the network it happened, and hopefully why, right? We, usually the why, you know, will be left for the user to make sure that it, it got right. But uh, that's really where we see the AI in the context of packets uh, observability going, right? It's really giving you one sentence across all of your network of what was going on with your uh, So how do we get there? Uh, you start from a pipeline, uh, really the input for our information, for our data or for our engine are the captured packets. If you're thinking about uh, 100 gigabits per second capture, it generates trillions of packets every day. Uh, we extract from that the analytics, we extract uh, metrics, so the metadata, that's still billions of sessions and, and hundreds of metrics per session. Uh, and then you start going into the AI, right? So the first thing that we're using the AI engine for is to be able to identify what we call incidents, right? What, what happened is the server identify a case where we see that the zero window, uh, uh, there were zero windows or the window contracted or the latency increased, right? These are incidents. Now, when you deal with incidents, you still end up with millions because if the server is slow and you have many, many uh, sessions, you still get a very big number out of that. So the next level is really being able to correlate them. And correlating them is really about taking the where, and now we have the what and the where and the when, and getting from the millions to the hundreds. And I've seen many people kind of say, oh, you know, I can take billions or however many millions and end up with hundreds. The challenge with that is that when you have a person coming in to work in the morning, he's not going to do any more than a handful of things this day, uh, a day, right? So really the next level is being able to say, do I care about that, right? Because there is no reason to provide more than a handful of relevant insights in the morning for the network operation person. So for that, we're using the relevance engine, right? There is customization. So it might be that, you know, this is a load balancer and, you know, it's anomaly, but, you know, it's it's always behaves this way. So I'll filter it out. And there is personalization, which is a specific thing. So if I'm a network operation engineer that cares about data center one, I don't care about data center two. So remove it from me. Or if I have security versus network operation, uh, filter it out, right? So it's really the idea is how do you take trillions of packets get down to a handful of operations or a handful of things that the, the network operation engineer needs to know when they come to work in the morning. So to recap, the whole idea of AI is, in this case, right, is being able to root cause an issue. So I have one of these three complaints, latency, connectivity, quality, understand what happened, when, where, why, in your network and application, and be able to act on that. So basically don't overwhelm the uh, network operation engineer. And the three things to take, right? So one of them is uh, a C packet. We do have the ability to run at the hundreds of gigabits per second and being able to capture the packets while analyzing them, which is not a trivial thing to do. Uh, we are using the accuracy that we have in our solution to be able to provide very, very precise insights. So the insights are, you know, relevant to the time and location in the network. Uh, and lastly, uh, use leverage AI to simplify, right? Because it's very easy for me to overwhelm a user with a lot of data or even a lot of information. But how do you take AI and make it into handful things that they can go and act on that during the day? Thank you very much. Thank you.